I really wanted to start off this new year really focusing on skincare. And it is no secret that I am obsessed and love Glow Recipe products. And you guys have been asking if I have tried the Glow Recipe and Niacinamide Dew Drops. Just a few weeks ago, I posted a video talking about all the new launches that I'm excited for. Uh, some include Function of Beauty now being available at Target and the Niacinamide Dew Drops and a few other things. So if you want to watch that video, all of those products have already launched. So I'm going to link it up above for you guys and of course down in the description box in case you're interested to check that video out. But I did go over a lot of information about this product before it launched and now it's here. And I honestly have put it off for a few weeks on purchasing it and reviewing it for you guys. And that is because... I have finally found a routine that has been working for my skin. You guys know, I've talked about it so much already, you're probably annoyed seeing the same picture and video over and over again, but this is what my skin looked like just like six months ago. And I've been dealing with this since July of 2019. Some things I have done to help my skin clear that does not involve skincare, which I think is very important to note that I have cut out eggs almost completely. The only time I consume eggs, if it's really deeply baked in something, and second, I've tried to limit gluten as much as possible. I'm going through a lot of other health issues, but I noticed really once I cleared those out that my skin was then more receptive to the skincare products, ingredients that I was using. So keep that in mind. If you're going with, through some acne, some stuff really does come down to gut health, but products can definitely help heal our skin. I feel like I need to say that as a disclaimer. Because yes, my skin has healed and I think it's due to a lot of products that I've been using, but also the skincare really just helps on top of clearing and trying to help my gut as much as possible. And that also really is important to note because we're going to get into kind of like the science behind niacinamide or niacin and why it really works to help skin clear acne, even though this product is not designed to help with acne. It definitely can and I will give you guys all the information you need to know so if you are interested please keep on watching all right so I have a very large collection of glow recipe products some of their products have stuck in my routine some have came in for quite a long time and slowly faded out the reason why I was hesitant to buy this product is it's an additional luxurious style product. It is not needed in a skincare, it's not a cleanser, it's not a moisturizer, and I've been really trying to focus on spending less money. And here I am. <laughs> $34 later, um, I want to figure out if this is worth it and if this should be a staple because an additional product that's $34 really, really, really adds up over time. And let's say you just go into Sephora to buy a cleanser and a moisturizer, probably gonna set you about $60. You add this on top of it, uh, it's gonna hit you right up in the 100 areas. And adding this to your skincare routine really could just mean more money, but if it's worth it, if it does really good, cool things, then maybe it needs to be stable. I don't know, so let's figure that out. Firstly, the packaging. Always, always, always obsessed with Glow Recipes products. The first ingredients is water, glycerin, and niacinamide, which I really, really, really like to see. And the glass bottle is really cute. It is kind of in a little dew drop shape and I really love the color on here. It's kind of like a pink iridescent-y. I'll give you guys a closer look. And it is a squeezy bottle, which I love. It makes it so much easier and cleaner while doing your skincare. This is an addition to their watermelon line. So they already have the watermelon AHA and BHA toner, the watermelon glow sleeping mask, and the watermelon moisturizer. The watermelon is packed with tons of vitamin A and C, skin plumping amino acids, so it helps to moisturize, soothe, plump, and also help with fine lines and wrinkles. Next, almost all of their products contain hyaluronic acid. I've talked a lot about hyaluronic acid here on my channel. If you don't know, it's humectant, which means it can hold up to a thousand times its weight in water. So if you have it on your skin and there's moisture in the air, it's gonna suck the moisture in, in through your skin barrier and just help keep your skin plump and hydrated throughout the day. And the most important part of this product is a niacinamide, which is a vitamin B3. The walk of shame. My head could explode right this second. I finished this entire video. I got up to go turn it off and it stopped recording 
45 minutes ago. I just lost everything. So I'm gonna sit down here and do it again. <laughs> I deserved that sip. <laughs> so to wrap that whole thing up, uh, niacin kills acne causing bacteria. So it really frustrates me that a lot of skincare companies and products are advertised to kill acne causing bacteria, but they never tell you what the bacteria is. Well, here I am, I'm telling you, it is staph. Most acne is caused by staph. Whether you have SIBO, which uh, you probably don't, um, this is just how I was able to figure out why the acne was there. Um, but whether you have gut issues or whatever it may be, or you're just normal and just have acne, definitely try to opt for products that do have niacinamide. And all you need to know is that vitamin B3, aka niacin, helps kill that bacteria. And that is how I was able to get my skin from this to this. And it, it cost a lot of money and a lot of time to figure that out. And some invasive things like putting my poo out of the toilet, putting it into a hot dog container and shipping it to Washington and waiting two weeks to get that information back and having my doctor explain it all to me. And then they didn't understand the whole acne thing either. So I had to do a lot of Google searching and slowly all these puzzle pieces fitted together. Did I say thesis? <laughs> slowly all of these puzzle pieces started to fit together and I started to figure out this thing and acne is mainly caused by staph on the skin. So keep in mind, Everyone has staph on their skin naturally, your fingers, your toes, everywhere. Um, and there is a healthy balance of bad and good bacteria on your skin. And having too much or too little can have some effects on your skin. Um, so making sure we keep it at that healthy level is hard to do, but is worth it in the long run. And that is why I thought this product was really interesting that it does have niacinamide in here and also advertised to give you this highlighty look when niacinamide doesn't really do that. They also don't really mention that this product can or does have effects on acne, which most niacinamide products don't. However, it is shown that niacinamide kills acne-causing bacteria, which is AKA staph. And you can also do this internally. Do not drink this. I'm talking about supplements and vitamins. So having supplements and vitamins that do contain or are just vitamin B3 will definitely help internally. And here's how to help your skin externally with any product that may contain niacinamide. So all that to say that this product should highlight your skin. It should give you this glowy and natural look to your skin. And it can be used in skincare as a primer mixed in with foundation or on top of your foundation, just like a powdered highlighter. You can also purchase a $15 brush from their website that can be used with this. So that way you can use it on your skin like a highlighter. I didn't buy it though because I have lots of makeup brushes. And also I figured with this product, I've seen a lot of people use their fingers. So I am going to be using my finger to apply it. This says it's good for all skin types and that's something that I was worried about because you guys know I have oily skin. I thought maybe using it would break down my foundation faster, give me more of a greasy look to my skin. And after six hours of having my makeup on today, my skin almost has never looked more natural and not as cakey. It helped I, and I want to say it helped my makeup lay on more evenly and a little bit better. Next, you can also use this to mix in with your foundation or use on top like a highlighter. A squirt about that much. Just tapped it in like this and this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay, the first time you couldn't see it as much on camera, but you can really see it in person. So using it as a highlighter on the skin, I really enjoy. And this is actually something I've been wanting to try because having a highlighter, like a powder highlighter on the skin, in certain lightings and being outside in the sun, you can clearly see the shimmer and the glitter on your skin and it's not always flattering. So this is something that I was really interested in trying um, just to give that more natural glow look. And because of this, it makes my overall skin look way more natural and not as cakey. It also completely dried down pretty fast. It doesn't feel greasy or sticky or tacky in any way. So I probably won't be trying the mixing in with the foundation at this time. So far I can see it added some dry skin-like texture right here. Because it's taken me over a week to edit this video, 
I've had an extra week to test out this product. Originally, this review was supposed to just be a first impression, but after trying it for an entire week in all different ways as skincare, using it as a primer, using it on top of my makeup as highlighter, and using it mixed in with my foundation, I have some final thoughts. So I thought I'd just include it really quickly here before this video comes to an end. Using it as skincare, specifically at night, I feel like my skin absorbs all of the properties that this product offers and utilizes the niacinamide which I feel like is such a high quantity of niacinamide that my skin has honestly it's looking so so good and I do credit that to the niacinamide again they do not advertise this product as an acne treating product as I mentioned earlier niacinamide is really really good for acne also all of the hydrating properties the watermelon so my skin has been really well hydrated I also think because of the shimmer kind of look to it that my skin looks really fun going to sleep and waking up. It does not leave my skin looking oily, which is really nice. Using this in the morning as skincare or as primer before going in with my makeup, I also noticed that this helped to lay my foundation on my skin really, really nicely and spread out evenly, made my skin really nice throughout the day and gave it that nice glow from within, which I really, really enjoy. Using this as a highlighter, I love. I think it looks so beautiful on my skin. I do, though, only recommend to do it here on the cheeks, on the tip of the nose, and sometimes the cupid bow. I did not have good luck with this on my eyelids. Um, it creased and made my eyelids feel really tacky, but everywhere else on my skin, it felt really, really nice. I also suggest only to apply this with fingers. I used a brush that was very similar to the one that they sell online, and I just noticed that using the brush picked up my foundation and powder and gave it a bit more patchy look rather than a clear, clean glass look, which my fingers did very, very easily. And unfortunately, the only con and the only bad experience I had with this is using it mixed in with my foundation. That can come down to several different things. The foundation that I use, that I always powder my skin, and so much more. I tried this several times, and every time I did it, my makeup looked really bad. <laughs> Separated all over my forehead. It actually made my forehead look really dry. My under eyes creased, my eyelids creased really, really bad. Overall, my foundation did not last throughout the day. It creased, it separated, and it just looked really, really odd. But I can see how someone who does not powder their skin uses more of a dewy foundation or a medium coverage foundation that this product used in that way would be way, way, way better. Anyways, those are my final thoughts of the Glow Recipe Niacin Dew Drops. But keep watching because there's a few more things I say in just a second. <laughs> And if you guys are still watching, if you made it to the end, comment down below what your favorite skincare product is. Please remember to leave this video a thumbs up if you want to see more like this. Subscribe if you have not already and click the notification bell button. Click on all. That way you guys can stay notified every time I post a new video. It really supports me and my channel. Make sure to comment because I reply to every single comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!